Hi guys, in today's video we have daily challenges, Madame Nazar's location, as well as the collector daily challenges which will appear at the end of this video. So we have some things like finish uh, elimination series, horse fed, musky caught, parasol mushrooms, petting a dog, story missions. Petting a dog, if you have one at your camp, obviously that's going to be convenient. And if not, you can find one at most towns. Also, Rascala Fork is another great place where you usually can always find one. So, Madame Nazar did not move. She is still at the same location near the Dakota River, just a little north of Lymphony. And next, we move on to Parasol Mushrooms, which are spread out all over the map. We're going to start in Tumbleweed and make our way east. All you have to do is really visit two of these locations, because most of them have either two, three, or four Parasol Mushrooms at those spots. So, there's four in Tumbleweed. There is two spots over here at McFarland Ranch as well as others, but you only need to visit two, so there's no point in listing eight in each location. There are three over here at Emerald Station, and then you have a couple more that are just a little north of Blue Water Marsh on the east coast over here. For your muskie challenge today, all you have to do is catch one. You can find them in a couple different locations. They're also up north in Amberino, like Lake Isabel, but I mean, why go up there for a damn muskie? when most of the stuff you can do can be found in the central part of the map but you can find some all along the coast here from about Blue Water Marsh almost all the way up to Ansberg and you can also find them in Lake Owangila again you only have to catch one so that makes things convenient and uh, you know take care of that challenge so now we're going to focus on the collector daily challenges these locations here you'll be able to get jewelry, eggs, tarot cards and arrowheads First location coming up here is a coin, then the next two locations are pieces of jewelry. Then after that, we have an arrowhead coming up right here. We have another arrowhead at this location. Then you have a tarot card at Bacchus Station. We move on to three eggs that you can find over here north of Cumberland Forest. There should be a piece of jewelry in the Northern Gang Hideout. There is a coin up on the hill. At the Southern Gang Hideout, you should be able to find a tarot card. Inside of Valentine, these next two locations are tarot cards, and then you can find an heirloom on the first floor in the building right behind the butcher, and there also is a dig site right at this location here where you should be able to find yourself an arrowhead. So next we're going to make our way into the Heartlands. You will find a piece of jewelry here, a tarot card, then we move on to a coin. Near the H, you should be able to find yourself an arrowhead. At this little ox farm over here in the cornrows, you should be able to find an obsidian arrowhead, a piece of jewelry at the overflow. Um, we find a coin at the clothesline, and then we also have a piece of jewelry. Another piece of jewelry in Dewberry Creek. As we move down, I ended up finding a random coin, but it could be something different for you guys. Also another random coin. There is a coin inside the well over here. Piece of jewelry where my horse is, and then a tarot card at this location where I am. So now we're down in the bayou, you can find flowers, arrowheads, and dig sites. First location should be a dig site where you can find an arrowhead, a piece of jewelry there, a tarot card. Then we move up to an egg, an arrowhead dig site, jewelry, a flower. Then we move on to another flower location. There is a coin over here under the house. Then you have an arrowhead dig site and a tarot card in the outhouse. We have a flower. And then you have an air, a family heirloom dig site where I am located right there. So these next locations can be used either for jewelry or just getting some extra XP and money. A lot of these items are going to be jewelry. These first two are jewelry. Then we have an antique bottle at this abandoned camp. Jewelry on the coast. Next two locations we have an heirloom dig site followed by a piece of jewelry. We move up to an arrowhead. A piece of jewelry here on the coast of Kamasa River. Another piece of jewelry behind this house. Although somebody said there might be a tarot card at the chimney of the house as well or another item. And then we have a coin at this location here to top it off and uh, complete this little area. So next we're going to go ahead and talk about eggs, alcohol bottles, and heirlooms for anybody that needs them. So we're going to start off up here, an egg location that we've already talked about. There's three eggs. You can get that challenge done. Heirloom at this location in Valentine. We have an alcohol bottle here. As we move over, you have another family heirloom. Then we have a family heirloom. An alcohol bottle that we mentioned earlier you also have a family heirloom at this location and then as we move down you have eggs heirloom at the pirate ship on the island then we have some more eggs over here and then an alcohol bottle at manzanita post appreciate you guys watching hope the video helped see you next time